While a big document leak showed a bunch of famous people and politicians hiding money offshore, you probably missed Blue Origin kicking some SpaceX tail, the heads up display for heroes, and the science Willy Wonka mastered years ago. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where not eating the Easter candy I'm saving for small relatives this weekend is tearing up my soul slowly. I really get that kid. In not a delayed April Fool's joke news, we bring you science based on the art of confection. And that means chocolate. MIT Smarties were able to better predict how thick any shell produced by liquid would be around a shape by studying chocolate. I think we know how those tests went down. They apparently saved enough of the research to create a formula that accurately predicts thickness over a dome-shaped mold. Useful to know for everyone from pharmaceutical manufacturers to Easter Bunny makers, but more importantly, it's the kind of science I can get behind. When firefighters rush into a burning building, they're often running blind on account of the thick smoke. That could soon change thanks to a new heads-up display from Georgia Tech that mounts inside their face masks. The HUD records its wearer's biometric information as well as environmental conditions, then sends that data to officials outside. This should help keep firefighters working as efficiently and safely as possible, and also kind of makes them cyborgs. Welcome, former humans. You don't throw away your car after a road trip, even if it smells like two-day-old Taco Bell wrapper. It's like a dry, nappy beef. So why throw away a perfectly good rocket? Pioneers of space vehicle recycling, Blue Origin successfully tested their new Shepard rocket for the third time. The reusable craft reached a height over 100 kilometers, then the crew capsule separated at 20,000 feet and parachuted to the ground at a chill touchdown speed of 1.3 miles per hour. The booster O fuel came in hot, but then landed like a boss at 4.8 miles per hour. Blue Origin hopes to launch tourists into space, but hasn't said how much your night at the space hotel will cost. And finally, some UAV enthusiasts put a chainsaw on a drone, cut a bunch of stuff up like you'd imagine they would, then were hoisted by their own petard when a cut balloon took the whole operation out. Karma. <laughs>